Rescue Me, Rescue Me, Rescue Me. It is the holiday show from Animal Services in San Luis Obispo. And we have a full house of dogs and cats that need to get out of here. Deborah, we want homes for the holiday. How yes, about that idea? We would love every single one of them to have homes for the holidays. We're just a little too full down here. Um, we've had lots of adoptions, but they keep coming in. So put those IDs on your pets, please. Write the phone number on, your ca on the collars. Microchip your dogs. Have dog tags on them. Do anything you can to keep your dog at home or at least get your dog home rather than have them land down here. And the thing of it is that we're closed uh, several days for the holidays, over Christmas, over New Year's. Year. And so we really do not want to have uh, no adoptions over those days, more strays coming in, and an overpopulation of animals that, Deborah, you know what has to happen if we get overloaded with cats and dogs? And we don't even want to think about that happening. We and, don't. and the answer is very simple. The answer is adoptions and lots of them. And it's great because we have some fabulous animals down here and one of the most fabulous is yes. the one you're holding yes you love luke i do luke is my favorite little guy down here he is the ultimate lap dog he is sweet and affectionate and loving he is terrific with other dogs he plays with them but he's also happy just to sit in your lap for as long as you'll hold him and pet him and he has a very soft coat you're probably noticing that yes so he's definitely one of our favorites down here. And the so thing is, Deborah, these dogs get overlooked. They're so good, but they get overlooked because we have so many little brown dogs. Yes, they do. But it's he not is fair. very, very special. Black dogs have a hard time getting adopted sometimes, and little brown dogs have a hard time. And Duke doesn't deserve that. Luke doesn't deserve that. So please come down here. Let's let him fly him. out of here with these ears. Duke's ID number is 202-535. We have a very special dog here. This is um, Binks, and he is the volunteer's pick of the month, which means half of his adoption fee is paid, so that saves you some money. He's one of those black dogs that's getting overlooked down here. He loves people, extremely affectionate, very good dog player, especially with female dogs. But Binks uh, also has some male friends uh, in the dog population. So he is an all-around loving, sweet, and fabulous dog. He's showing his kissing ability Look right now. Look at that. Mm-hmm. ID number 201769. This is Volunteers Pick Binks. Oh, this is another one of our little sweet brown dogs. Isn't, look at that face. Come on, that's precious. This is a five-year-old. That's a wonderful age. Kind of a, a little larger than tiny dog. Just a nice guy named Mario. His ID number is 202449, and he would like nothing better than to go home with you for Christmas. Beautiful Greta came to us, a beautiful but highly unsocialized dog, and she has changed tremendously. She likes people. She likes other dogs. She is really looking for her person to bond with. And did I mention she's beautiful? Greta's ID number is 201342. Coco is that perfect medium size, a pretty little girl, just about two years old, very playful with our other dogs down here. Um, and very athletic, so if you like to take hikes or ride bikes or go running or just on long walks, Coco would be perfect. Uh, her ID number is 201966. Oh, she catches flies too, that's handy. Bear's owners were very sad to turn him in. He's three years old, they had a change in housing, they couldn't keep him anymore, but they had nothing but nice things to say about this great little dog. Um, he does pretty well with cats, he does very well with other dogs, he's easy to handle and he is just sweet. Bear's ID number is 181496. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll tell you what, there are two dogs down here. Um, this is Mikey and Rufus, you'll see later, and it's all I can do not to call my husband and say, honey, get down here and get one of these dogs and take them home. They are so good with other dogs. Mikey is just a great, great player with other dogs. He's just wonderful. He's scared right now by Santa's workshop going on behind us. Uh, we've got some banging and nailing and all kinds of stuff going on, but... I cannot tell you how great a dog this is. Mikey's ID number is 201-639. Right now I am his biggest fan. Greer is maybe his other biggest fan. But everybody loves this dog and so will you. This is Mikey. This little girl came to us on the 4th of December. She was picked up on Harmony Valley Road. She is scared out of her mind here. But she is very sweet. Once she's comfortable with you, she's, she's very sweet and affectionate. She loves other dogs. Um, she just needs someone who will be patient with her until she warms up and she feels secure. But you know, she likes Larry very much. He can kind of do whatever he wants with her, and she's fine with it. She just has to trust you. 
Again, someone, are you looking for your pretty little Border Collie mix? Um, her ID number is 202-835. This beautiful Brindle girl is one of our longest residing dogs down here. She's been with us since August. She needs to get out of here. Half of, half of her adoption fee is paid. She's a very nice dog. Um, she has gone out with fosters, and she has gone out on day trips with people, and she has done fabulously. They have nothing but wonderful things to say about this dog. She's just about a year and a half old. She is really nice. Her ID number is 200971, and she really needs to get out of here. This little baby was found at Del Mar Park in Morrow Bay uh, on the 1st of December. She is a really nice dog. She was terrified when she came in. She's doing a lot better. She looks like she's got some kind of whippet or Italian greyhound or something in there, maybe some dachshund. Uh, a lovely little dog that we are now calling Lucy. Her ID number is 202806, and being on camera is not her favorite thing. This is our resident water dog. Val would rather be in the water swimming around and playing in water than just about anything else in the world. She is a lovely dog. She has lots of dog friends down here at the, at the um, shelter, and she absolutely loves people. Her half of her adoption fee has been paid, so that saves you over $50, and that's nice. And Val's ID number is 171165. This gorgeous creature with the fabulous green eyes is named Rocco, and he is one of our longest residing. Lots of people look at him because he's absolutely beautiful, and then he barks at him because new people tend to scare him. But once he knows you, he is absolutely loving and fun and a great dog, and he is fantastic with other dogs. <laughs> and see, he loves Greer, so he's getting some kisses there. Rocco's ID number is 200851, and he also has half of his adoption, fa uh, adoption fee paid, which saves you more than 50 bucks. You can't beat that around Christmas time, can you? This is Biscuit. He was found on um, the 24th of November out in Creston, and nobody's come looking for him, which is too bad, because he is a really nice dog. A big old lover, lots of energy, just... Seems to be good with kids. He just seems to be a really nice dog. His ID number is 202699. This is Biscuit. This is Lewis. He's a little bit nervous down here. And he's such a cute little guy. He's got all kinds of cuteness factor going for him. He's good with the other dogs. He's a lap sitter once he's comfortable with you. He's a nice little guy on leash. All what around good two-year-old. And he's got some ears to die for. ID number 202723. This is Lewis. This is Willie with the long, long legs. He is a nice little guy. We think just about two years old. He's just an all around sweet lap dog. His ID number is 202603 Willie. <laughs> this, is, this is one of Rocco's girlfriends. This is Ciara. She's a little, made a little bit nervous by the cameras and all that stuff. But she's a good girl. Ciara's ID number is 202571. Just a nice, approximately three-year-old young lady. Justice has been here since July 2nd. She is our longest residing dog. She is extremely shy and timid. And we're just, but, but she isn't snappy. She's not, she's great. She's very good with other dogs. She's very good with other cats. She was a perfect house guest in her foster's home. She's just a shy and timid dog and needs that patient, wonderful person who is going to just let justice be justice and come around in her own time, which she does do, but she doesn't show well at the shelter because she is so frightened of new things and new people. Justice does have half of her adoption fee paid. We are very motivated to find this girl a home. She's breaking our hearts down here. Justice's ID number is 200093, and she just desperately needs to get into a good home. Doesn't Lily look beautiful for Christmas? She just looks like a little angel sitting there with Terry, and, and she's just as soft as, uh, like Terry said, she feels like chinchilla fur. She's so soft. Pretty little dog, just a couple of years old. You know, she's just looking for a person. She's good with other dogs, and she's looking for that person who's got the lap she can hang out on. Lily's ID number is 202740. She's so pretty. If you're in need of some enthusiastic loving, <laughs> Henry's the guy for you, or as he prefers to be known as Henri. Uh, Henry's oh. got, he's just fun. He's happy, he's enthusiastic, he's, in, he's energetic, he's pretty. He is just a cool dog. Uh, his ID number is 202463. Three, he has got half of his adoption fee paid, and he's just, man, he's like a kissing machine. 
and a tail wagon machine. He's like three dogs in one. Come get him. 202-463-HENRY. This is Snack. She's the second smallest dog in the shelter right now. We have a smaller one named Nilla Bean. You'll see a little bit later. Funny because Nilla Bean and Snack hate each other. But other than that, Snack loves all other little dogs. She's just a tiny, maybe three-pounder, about three years old. She's a lap sitter. She plays with other dogs. She's just a funny little big-eared chihuahua girl that needs to get out of here. Not so good with little kids, though. They make her a little nervous. She's too little for that. So older kids in an adult home is better. Snack's ID number is 202407. <laughs> this is the funnest girl in the shelter. This is our Marilyn, and she is a riot. She's good with other dogs, especially males. Um, she's she's affectionate. so enthusiastic. Isn't Always. She enthusiastic? Always she and Henry, enthusiastic. As you can probably imagine, yes. crazy about each other. <laughs> <laughs> We've had her for a long time, and she's such a good girl. And, yes, half of her adoption fee is paid, too, and she's loving wearing an owl hat. <laughs> 201-307, Marilyn, we better get her off set before Greer gets broken bones or something. But it's out of love. She would only break his bones out of love. <gasps> oh, this is little Maisie, and she's been a little bit scared down here, but she's coming around so great. She's been learning agility. She's been doing all kinds of fun stuff down here. She's very good with the other dogs. She's just a pretty little one-year-old dog. ID number 202617, pretty little Maisie. This is a pretty medium-sized little shepherd mix named Marilyn. Um, just a pretty little dog, a nice little dog. Her owners could no longer keep her, so sadly she finds herself with us. But at six years old, she has got lots of time and lots of love left to give. Her ID number is 919248. This is Marilyn. This is little Peanut, and I just love this little guy. He's about five years old. He is a sweet little lap dog. Just, he just loves to be with you, be on your lap. He's wonderful on the leash. He's a great little guy. Peanut's ID number is 202692, and he is a charmer. Just come down and meet him. This pretty lab's uh, just a year old. Her name is Pearl, and she was picked up on the 6th of December um, on the coastal jurisdiction. She's, she's got a tag, and she's in our system, but nobody's come looking for her. She's an awfully nice dog. Her ID number is 912028, and I hope her owners find her. But if they don't, she's going to get adopted very quickly. She's a very nice dog. And by the way, Deborah, look at that collar there, Greer, that points to that nice purple collar, very wide canvas. Can't you picture a phone number right on that collar? Yes. Yeah. She'd look even better with her phone number on her collar. And she'd mm. be home. And she'd be home. Okay, folks, now you remember out there, phone numbers on all collars. Now, 912-028, Pearl. This is Tinkerbell, also with an ID, and um, I think picked up with Pearl in the coastal jurisdiction on the 6th of December. Very nice dog. Not so happy being here. Her ID number is 153122, so hopefully somebody is looking for this sweet girl and will come and find her or come and adopt her. She's awfully nice. This is our teeniest, tiniest dog in the whole shelter. This is little Nilla Bean. She is so cute, so sweet, good with other dogs, except Snack. Um, just a great little lap dog, a sweet little thing. She loves Peanut. Uh, they're really good friends. Her ID number is 202674. She is absolutely adorable. This is little Nilla Bean. <laughs> this is little Angel. And Larry calls her Oh No because of the expression on her face all the time. Her little eyebrows going up. She always looks like she's saying Oh No. She's a great little dog, but she does need, she's just a puppy, less than a year. She does need an experienced Chihuahua home because she, um, you know, she's a little bit nervous and she can get a little snippy if she's really scared of something. But if she loves you, she loves you. So experienced Chihuahua people, come down and take a look at Angel, also known as Ono. Oh <laughs> uh, 202472. She is a hoot, this one. This is my other boyfriend down here at the shelter. I love this dog. This is Rufus. He is um, three years old. He is so good with other dogs. It's amazing. He is just a fabulous, fabulous, big old salami head. And I just love him. And it's all I can do not to take him home with me. His ID number is 195774. This is big old Rufus. Just a big old bowl of tub of goo and love. Look at that. Look at that. Take them home. But only A++ homes may apply. 
All right, we got some major cuteness factor going on here. This little girl came in on the 3rd of December uh, from Atascadero, El Camino and Santa Rosa. Look at, the, can you imagine that little tiny thing out on El Camino and Santa Rosa? She must have been terrified. Um, I can't believe she's not been picked up by owners because she is so very sweet. Uh, we're going to name her Tawny if nobody comes to redeem her, but somebody should come and adopt her in a hurry because she's a doll. ID number 202845. This is Tawny. This is Bianca, and she is really scared down here, poor thing, but she is a nice dog. She's really pretty, about a year old, came in on the 24th of November. Um, her ID number is 202724, and she just needs to get out of here. She actually did pretty good on a cat test, by the way. So if you have cats, she's probably okay with them. We have a pretty Calahula mix here who came in on the 6th of December from um, Chardonnay Road in Paso Robles. And she is a very nice, very gentle, very sweet dog wearing a gigantic pink collar that should have a big old phone number written on it, but doesn't. So here she sits. Um, just a nice dog. We think about two years old. That collar is as big as a bulletin board. I know. And there's no tags hanging from no it either. Tag. Come on, Nothing. folks. Nothing. If you love them, Dirt. put ID on them. Dirt. ID number 202889 for this lovely girl. This is a very pretty but very scared little dog named um, Oscar. And he's doing a lot better, but he still, is pretty, he still is pretty nervous down here. But he's a good little dog, and he's good looking. His ID number is 202414. This is Oscar. This guy came in with our last dog, um, that were, or a, a couple of dogs ago, the other Catahoula mix, and um, picked up in Paso on Chardonnay Road. Another super nice dog. Somebody has got to be looking for this guy. He is adorable. He's just about a year old. He's practically still a puppy, and he's just a nice, nice guy. His ID number is 202890. This little cutie is a little bit out of it. He just had his neuter surgery, and um, but he's a little sweetie. Sure, it's got great ears. Cute guy. About two years old. We're going to call him Dancer. His ID number is 202812. Little Bingo's almost a medium-sized dog. He's a little nervous down here, but he's a sweet little guy. Um, his ID number is 202600. So if you're not sure what size dog you want, you're debating between small and medium. Bingo is between small and medium. Bingo. This sweet, sweet little female poodle is just about a year old. She came in to us from the South County um, in Napomo, 100 East Knots in Napomo. So somebody must be missing this sweet, sweet little dog. And if not, she, someone's going to get lucky when they adopt her because she is a little doll. Her ID number is 202881. So poodle fans, we have got a winner here. Okay. All right, everybody, we wish you happy holla dogs, happy Hanna cats, and just have wonderful holidays. And these little babies are up for adoption right now, too. They're, they're two-month-old little pit bull mixes. They're as sweet as they can be. Numbers 202583, 202585, 202581, and 202590. They're going fast. Their brothers and sisters are already out the door. And if that is not the cutest dang thing you have ever seen in your whole life, then there is something wrong with you. And you need to get down here and adopt these babies. And all the rest of the big babies, you know, just because you're not eight weeks old doesn't mean you're not precious. They're all precious. They all deserve homes. They all deserve love. They don't, none of them deserve to be here. But we do love them. We do try to take good care of them. And again, everybody, happy, happy holidays. And please come down and help us. Volunteer, adopt, whatever. Do what you can to help our community's homeless animals. IDs on pets. IDs on pets. Okay. Happy holidays. So here I am out with one of my good friends. This is where we go walking our dogs. We get to sit on some park benches now and again. It was a great opportunity for you guys to come out. We need volunteers. We'd really like some more dog walkers. We're at a point now where we just don't have enough people walking the dogs, and these dogs have to stay in their kennel day in and day out, 24 by 7. These dogs really need to get out, have a little exercise, feel the grass. You can sit with them out here, socialize them. It makes them ever so much more adoptable. So if you've got any time whatsoever, we could use you down here. Bring a friend. Two of you walk dogs together. We have dogs that get along with other dogs that you can go out with together. It's a fabulous opportunity for both you and the dog. 
We'd love to see you down here. It's easy to be a volunteer. We're a great bunch of people, I guarantee it. You can have a lot of fun and help the dogs. Think about it. Okay, we are starting out with the first cat here. It is Marlo. He is gorgeous. Look at that, gray on white. Hard to find a cat like this. Usually they're black on white, but this one is a nice gray or blue color, blue gray on white. Marlo is just about six months old. He is ID number 201548. That's Marlo, such a cutie pie. If you turn around and look at us, there he is. Marlo. Here's a lovely tabby on white. This is Bravo. He is just about six or seven months old. He is ID number 201568. Look at those gorgeous yellow eyes. Bravo. 201568. Okay, this is a Torby. What is that you say? This is a tortoiseshell mixed with a tabby, so we call this cat a Torby. Very nice temperaments on these cats. I have one myself. This cat is Pearl, and she is just about seven months old. ID number 202720. She is so curious and loves to play. That's Pearl, ID number 202720. Say hi to Matisse. Matisse is a real sweetheart. Matisse has half her adoption fee paid. What does that mean to you? If you decide to adopt Matisse, you only have to pay half of the adoption fee. That's just $40. Matisse is only a year and a half old, and she's a doll. ID number 201262, Matisse, half adoption fee already paid for you. Well, look at this fluff ball. This is Vincent, and yeah, you're right. Vincent only has one ear. We surgically removed his ear because he is a victim of skin cancer. Vincent is a doll, though. He's going to make somebody a very, very fine pet. He's just about three years old, and his ID number is 202276. And he's got half his adoption fee paid. That's right. If you fall in love with him, you only have to pay $40 for Vincent. Half fee paid. So come on down and see this great, great cat. ID number 202276. It's Vincent. Hello, Fenway. Yes, this is Fenway. When you get to see his face, you're going to see his gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. He is just about three years old, and his ID number is 201268. Fenway is a black cat, so that means you get 25 back on the adoption fee if you adopt Fenway or any of the other black cats that are here. Fenway's ID number, 201268, black cat rebate, 25 bucks, and a great, great cat. Say hi to Marlon. Marlon is just about six months old, and he's a doll. Look at his gorgeous eyes. He is ID number 201803. Marlon. Chloe, 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 you are so gorgeous. Chloe is a long-haired tabby, as you can see, with big, big eyes to look at you with love, and that's what she's going to do if you adopt her. Chloe is a little older. She's a senior, but she is the volunteer's pick. Yes, the volunteers love this cat and voted her volunteer pick of December. Yay, Chloe. Hooray, hooray. What does that mean to you? Half her adoption fee has already been paid. So if you come down here, meet her, fall in love, half adoption fee for you. ID number 202070. Sounds like a lucky number for Chloe. 202070. Hey, you guys, here is a Manx Siamese. That's very rare. I don't think I've ever seen here, and I've been here for 14 years, a Manx Siamese. This is a newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat in Arroyo Grande on Branch and Oak Part. Are you missing this cat? It, she's very identifiable. She is female. We found her on the 6th of December, and her ID number is 202887. Take a good look and see if you recognize her. Is she your neighbor? Is she your cat? Come on down here and claim her. ID number 202887. If her owner doesn't claim her, she is available for adoption. So consider 202887. Say hi to Bitsy. Bitsy is uh, just about six months old. She is a tabby, long-haired. ID number 202031. Bitsy. Here's another newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat on the 5th of December. She is female, just about a year old. She was found on Faroos and Whipping Willow in the North County. Do you recognize her? 
ID number 202875. And if she does not get claimed by her owner, she's available for adoption. And I think she's a cutie pie. 202875. Here's another newcomer to the shelter. This cat was found on the 5th of December in the North County on Farouse and Whipping Willow. Again, I, he is about a year old, and his ID number is 202874. If he does not get claimed, he's available for adoption. 202874. Here we have a tortoise shell. They seem to be rare around the shelter anymore. We used to have a lot of tortoise shells, but not so much anymore. This is Chili, and Chili is uh, available for the senior rebate. That's right. Any of our seniors that are adopted get a $35 rebate for, off the adoption fee. That's almost half price. That's a great deal, and Chili is a great cat. Her ID number is 202687. That is Chili. Here we have a long-haired tortoise shell. This is Fluffy, and Fluffy is just about five years old. Her ID number is 202739, and when she's all fluffed out and brushed nicely, she is gorgeous. You've got to come down here and see her in person. Fluffy, ID number 202739. Here's a newcomer to the shelter. We found this cat on the 8th of December. This cat is female, and she was found in San Luis City at Santa Rosa Park. She's just about two years old, and as I say, she is a female. Do you recognize her? Is she your cat or a neighbor's cat? ID number 202899, and if nobody claims her, she's available for adoption. 202899. Next up, we've got Sassy. Sassy is just about two years old. She's got those gorgeous yellow eyes, big, big eyes, and she's a tabby. They have such good temperament, the tabbies. She is ID number 202868. And while we're looking at Sassy here, why don't you guys start thinking about coming down here and volunteering with us. If you like these cats or our dogs too, you can volunteer down here at the shelter. Call the volunteer line, 781-4413. Leave a message and we'll get back to you about volunteering. New Year's is coming and you might want to make a New Year's resolution to do something positive for the community. How about coming down to the animal shelter and volunteering for the cats and the dogs? Think about it. Well, if you want the biggest cat we've got here, you're going to want Brando. Brando surely is our biggest cat. He is a very handsome tabby on white. He is just about five years old, and he is ID number 202573. Consider taking Brando home. ID number 202573. Here's our first orange tabby. People clamor to get an orange tabby, and Dennis is one. He is male, he's just about two years old, and he is ID number 202809. So if you fancy an orange tabby, Dennis is the boy for you. 202809. 